What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So JRW558 suggested an assault rifle from Modern Warfare 2, the Tempest Razorback. He said it's similar to the FR Advancer which is an absolute demon in the tier 3 zone and in the Elder Dark Aether. Before we get into the build I'm using for the Tempest Razorback, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the MW3 Mastery camos such as the Interstellar and Borealis camo or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, Playstation and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the Razorback is as follows, we're using the the FLT-22 rear grip to improve our ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the 13 inch Frenzy IX barrel as it comes with an integrated optic and doesn't negatively impact our damage output, the SL Razorhawk laser light for the fastest possible ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the LTX Eclipse comb for a slight mobility boost, and last but not least we're using the 60 round mag. Thank you again to JRW558 for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. So now that we went over the build I'm using for the Tempest Razorback, I'd say it's time to head over to the Tier 3 zone and the Dark Aether to see how this thing performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the Tier 3 zone. As you can see, we got this Razorback 2 pack 3. Got this little mega abomination right here, so let's actually quickly test this thing out. Great against tier 3 zombies, I will say that. You just absolutely melt them. Got this mimic right there. Oh, dang. Hold on. We gotta get some distance here, boys. <laughs> there we go. Let's focus in on the mimic a bit. Nice. Already killed him. Let's focus in. Already destroyed the mega's face. This thing is insane. Alright, let's back it up. There we go. Alright, quickly play it up. We definitely need to get speed cola here soon. We don't have golden plates on at the moment. Let's quickly climb up here. That should trigger a laser attack. There we go. Laser attack is coming in. Let's see how much damage we can do here. There we go. Another face destroyed. Let's focus on that final face. Just ripping through his health bar, man. Just a few more shots and we're actually going to have to kill on this guy. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just look at that. <laughs> Definitely impressed by this thing. I'm loving it. So it's definitely good for roaming elites and it's great for tier 3 zombies. So we do have this bounty contract right here. Man, our bag is just full of schematics. I mean, three of them I'll be giving away on Thursday, I believe. The giveaway winner just couldn't get on um, on time due to work and whatnot. So yeah, just going to wait for that. So light this guy up here. There we go. Yeah, so even against bounty megas, this thing just rips, man. Jeez, hold on. <laughs> Let's use that self-revive real quick. We good, we good. There we go. We should get a free one anyways, since this is the first contract we're doing here in the tier three. There we go. Nice. Just wants to bring the mega over here somewhere so we can trigger his laser attacks. Let's quickly climb up here. This should do the trick, right? Come on, mega. Nah, bad angle. Dang. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's come over here. There we go. Now he hits us with one. Really? Really, Mega? <laughs> the timing. I swear. And there we go. Two faces destroyed. Luckily, we got this thing, and it just rips through his elf bar, man. Let's bring him over here. Maybe if we get on top of one of these cars, that should do it. Nice. Faces glowing. Oh, my God, dude. He's got less than a quarter of his elf bar left now. Let's throw that and come up. Oh, he's close. There we go. Couldn't hit us with his tail. Let's quickly throw that. Nice. Uh, does this work, maybe? Nah. Can you not climb it? There we go. No. He's just going to charge. Maybe? Come on. Hit us with the laser attack, Mega. Come on. All right. We won't need it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. This thing is insane, man. There we go. Let's quickly drink Tombstone. Beautiful. Let's see what we got there. Uh, Napalm Burst I will take and of course that free self revive which is very nice. Um, we do have the Wonder Fizz right there so you know what I'm gonna perk up 
and then we'll just wait for another bounty contract to show up. If we don't get one, then I'll just do the raid weapon stash, I guess. That's fine. Ooh, there we go. Bounty contract just spawned in. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. I swear this thing is just insane. I have to give this 10 on 10. This is just crazy. <laughs> I mean, just look at that, man. This thing just rips through everything. Be it an HVT, a roaming elite, or just tier 3 zombies. This thing is good, man. And there we go. We got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get off this one. And it's a disciple. Okay, nice. Definitely the most annoying target right there. So, let's see how this thing performs against disciples. Alright, disciple, where you at, dude? Oh, there he is. I see him, I see him. Wait. Did I? Wait, yeah, there he is. Alright, let's get his attention if we can. There we go. Definitely hit a few shots on him already. Let's quickly throw that blade. Nice. Ooh, dang. Alright, let's come over here. Okay, should be good back here now. Let's try to break his armor. There we go, broke his armor. We can actually hit criticals on him now. Oh, that's a lot of zombies right there. Jeez. Let's quickly get some distance again. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I don't see his health bar. Where you going, bruh? Come back here. Get back here. There he is. Alright, we can actually do a nice amount of critical damage right here. There we go. Disciple's more than halfway. Let's quickly throw that. Where'd he go now? Dude, I swear they're so annoying, man. <laughs> now he's just gonna pop up behind me out of nowhere and start healing. Watch it happen. There we go. So weak now. Uh, can we shoot his arm? Nice. Stopped his heal, and there we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we got off that. An extra self revive and elemental pop, which we already have, of course. Let's quickly back up. That mega is trying to do something right there. Start hitting a few shots on him. Perfect. All right, we should be able to trigger laser attacks on top of this little truck right here, right? If we can mantle, yeah, we can. Beautiful. There we go. Already destroyed one of his faces. Let's focus on that face right there. Come on, Mega. Hit us with that laser. There we go. Laser attacks coming in. Nice. Two faces destroyed. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is just insane. Definitely reminds me of the FR Advancer. And there we go. Mega is dead. Yeah, this thing is great, man. Definitely having a lot of fun with it. And yeah, my rating of 10 out of 10 is definitely not changing anytime soon. Because <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Let's go. Let's quickly take out this mangler. There we go. Already broke his arm. <laughs> oh, man. This is way too good. All right. So there's no bounty contract anywhere. Um, I say we go and grab that raid weapon stash. There we go. Got the contract. Ooh, there's Mega right there. Damn. Okay, uh, let's quickly come here. There we go. <laughs> Already destroyed his face. Dude, what is this? I swear. This doesn't even feel fair. This ain't a fair fight. Keep hitting those criticals. There we go. Pretty sure we just destroyed a second face. Let's quickly take out that disciple. Nice. Alright, Mega. Come on. Just need one more laser attack from you. Let's see what you dropped. Elemental pop. Maybe don't even need the laser attack, man. That's just crazy. Look at that. Even when you're not hitting criticals, you just eat into his health bar. Not hitting criticals there. Let's quickly back up and throw that. There we go. Oh, dang. Wait, what? Ah, oh, the little retchling. No way. You got us. Okay, there's a Casimir right there. Let's take that. Free Casimir. Let's go. Now, normally, we should be able to just stand here and take out all the zombies coming up. I mean, look at that. They'll even deliver ammo for you. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, this thing is insane, man. I swear. Definitely getting a 10 out of 10 rating. I can't wait to go to the Elder Dark Ether with this. Or Normal Dark Ether, rather, since we don't have any Elder Sigils. Ugh, oh, yeah, this is gonna be rough. And there we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we got off that. An extra three plate and napalm burst. Nothing too special. A little RGL in there. Huh. Should probably use that RGL again sometime. I swear. It's been a long time since I've used it. No bounty contract anywhere. Um. Alright. Should we do the Outlast contract maybe? Yeah, let's go grab that. 
Oh, never mind. Bounty contract just spawned in back there. Let's go. Go try to get a cart, but there's none nearby. All right, we'll just run over there. A little bit of exercise never hurt anyone, right? And there we go, boys. We got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. And it's a mimic. Nice. Let's go. I think the only target we still need to do is a mangler, I believe. All right, Mimic should be right in here. There we go. Nice. Pull this in. <laughs> All right, let's start hitting a few. Oh, dang. Okay, hold up, hold up. Chill, boys. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> we just turned around right into that group. All right, let's take some of them out real quick. There we go. Now we can focus on the Mimic. Already took off about a quarter of his health bar. Probably a bit more than that. Oh, yeah, definitely took off more than that already. We've got this little random right here with us. Let's quickly come back here. Nice. Let's keep hitting those criticals. Oh man, he's so weak. Just a few more shots. And there we go. We got the kill, but we're down and we do not have a self-revive. We don't have a self-revive, boys. Hold on. Yo, yo, that guy's running away. Yo, no. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> no way. What is this right now? Come on. Come on. Give me some good karma, man. I picked up enough of you guys in the tier 3 zone. Come on. Good karma has to kick in. Come on, man. Oh, oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Let's see. Let's see if he gets us. Uh, uh, come on, man. He's clearing out some of the zombies. Yo. <laughs> and there we go. Let's go, dude. Legend. Legend. Bro, I swear. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. Now I feel like a dick if I don't join, join this call. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that guy is awesome. Actually, you know what, dude? Here. Take, take this. Take this. Take that ray gun. Take that. And take that. Come on. Take it, bro. Take it. Take what you need. Take what you need, man. There we go. You're welcome, sir. He deserved that. He deserved that. Absolute legend right there. All right, let's quickly pick up that bounty contract. Then I'll hit a buy station and I will grab a self revive. Pretty sure that's the first video where I actually pretty much died. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's throw that. And we got a mangler as our target. Nice. Definitely an easy contract. And I'm pretty sure we've done all the targets after this one. Um, let's quickly hit that buy station back there before we go over to the mangler just to play it safe. And, uh, the mangler just kind of died while parachuting over here. Okay, let's actually go see if there's a self-revive in there for us. Come on, self-revive. No. Okay, this is all good, it's all good. Let's quickly go hit a buy station then, I guess. Ooh, and a bounty contract just spawned in back there. But that guy's already going for it. No way I'm going to beat him to it. And uh, that would be kind of a dick move. Good karma played out good for us. <laughs> All right, let's quickly buy a self-revive here. Uh, there we go. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's another... Ba Is he not going to go for it? Hold on. I'll keep an eye on him. No, he's, he's definitely moving in that direction. I'll just leave him to it. Is there no other bounty contract? No. All right, I'll slowly make my way over to the Dark Ether portal. And uh, yeah, if a bounty contract spawns in in the meantime, then I'll probably go grab it. But yeah, we'll probably just go over to the Dark Ether now. I'm hoping that we actually find a few sigils this run, man. We need to get a few Elder Sigils going because uh, yeah, normal Dark Ether is pretty boring in my opinion. But sadly, you have to go there to actually get a sigil. So it is what it is, man. And there we go, boys. We made it to the portal. Let's use our sigil, accept the teleport. Uh, then we'll quickly drop one of these and stow it. And I'll see you all in the tier four zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the tier four zone. Not sure what that is. Shaders are still compiling for the current map. Er, okay, okay. We seem to be all right though. Anyways, once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building right here. And this is where you find the first contract, being the bounty contract. Now, if you're in the Elder Dark Ether, you usually end up getting a Mega Abomination, which spawns down there. 
This time we got a mangler, so I'll quickly head over there and I'll show you guys my strategy for taking that guy out. There we go, mangler is right here. Let's actually, wait, what? Oh no, that was a normal, <laughs> that was not the contract. Yo, hold up. Yo, wait, there's no way we actually killed that guy so fast. Was that all thanks to, no dude, no way, are brain rot manglers that OP? I've never witnessed that, man. That's insane. Hold on, let's quickly pop Shroud so we can check our reward rift in peace and extra self-revive. We don't need. All right. That was kind of insane. I was just going to say shoot at him and then lure him over to this area back here so you're not in the fog and you, you know, have a lot more visibility. Yo, that's a lot of zombies. Let's actually do some work here. I mean, yeah, this, this Razorback, man. This thing is just something else, I swear. Ugh, oh, having way too much fun with it. Anyways, once you finish that contract, it's probably gonna take you a bit longer. I'm not sure what happened there. But just make your way over to this building right here. Uh, that's over at E7 on the map. Now there's a staircase inside this building or you can just take this ladder like we are. And this is where you find the second contract being the Outlast contract. Now once you pick that up, it's gonna ping the PND device over at the diner. So just quickly climb on this wall, dolphin dive, and open up your parachute so you go a bit further. And then just parachute over to this area back here. There we go, run up the hill. And then just climb these two little walls. And there we go, we made it to the diner. Then just get this P&D device activated and all you do for this contract is stay in the area to progress the analysis. Um, there's a few strategies to this one. I mean, one would just be to kind of train the zombies around and fight them off. But my preferred strategy is just to run into this back room right here, then climb onto these little fridges, I guess. And there you go. The zombies just kind of run all the way over here and start piling up. And all you have to do is just keep spamming your aim button and your shoot button and, you know, you'll be golden. Especially with Deadshot Daiquiri. And there we go. Just look at that. <laughs> you just you just rip through everything. Some zombies might throw their meat at you, so just prioritize those so that you don't take too much damage. But generally speaking, you should be fine with this strategy. Make sure you always play it up as well. Um, that shouldn't be an issue because they'll literally deliver ammo and plates to you, so you'll be fine. But yeah, just don't take any risks. Take your time, and once you finish this contract, I'll get back to you. Or rather, I'll get back to you once I finish contract. Man, what is up with me today? And there we go, contract complete. Now, once you finish that, most of the zombies are gonna die. You might still have a couple left alive. Just come over here and there we go. We got an Elder Sigil. Let's go. Um, I'll go ahead and drop. I'll drop the normal Sigil since we can probably get another one of those pretty easily. And the mag of holding is looking kind of juicy, I'm not going to lie. We might just drop that self-revive for it. We'll be fine now, it's just one more contract to go. Now the third and final contract is right up there on the mall. That's H6 on the map, I believe. Yeah, there we go, H6. Now there's a few ways you can get up here. Of course, if you have a Scorcher, just by all means Scorch up there. Um, I think there's an ether tear in that building back there, the one I'm looking at, not the thing I just pinged. Um, there's also an ether tear right here that you can run into that's just going to shoot you up into the sky. Then there's a staircase inside the mall, or you can get up here through the parking garage right there that I'm looking at. However you choose to get up here, just make your way to the peak, and there we go. Got the ether extractor contract, then start running west immediately, and as you can see up ahead, the three extractors just landed. Now, normally I like to run on that top bar right there. We ended up falling down, but it's all good. It's all good. The strategy is pretty much the same. Just come over here. There we go. <laughs> like that. Then just throw a Casimir at the ground right next to the extractor. That's going to pull in all the zombies. And more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. There we go. And then just start running towards the next extractor. While running there, open up your bag and equip your extra Casimir, like so. And then just throw a Casimir at that wall. Once again, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to, oh, oh, dang, hold up, hold up. There we go. Now we got it. Just disable this extractor. There we go. And then run towards the third and final extractor. 
climb on this wall here and just throw it right next to it once again. And there we go. That's pretty much contract complete. Get this one disabled. Nice. Now you just wait for that to blow up. And there we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we get in here. Nothing too special at all. But yeah, that's pretty much my strategy to the Dark Aether. It's definitely super easy, man. And of course, in the Elder Dark Aether, it's literally the same. Except the bounty target is usually a Mega Abomination, which is uh, probably the easiest target to get here, in my opinion. But yeah, the uh, Razorback gets a 10 out of 10 rating. This thing is just absolutely insane. Mobility is great. Fire rate's nice. And of course, that damage output is just incredible, man. You just rip through HVTs, you rip through groups of zombies. It's just overall a great weapon. So if you guys are looking for an AR to use to farm some schematics or just get a few contracts done, I definitely recommend using this thing. Thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.